Creating your first list on Rocket Responder is easy. Just go to Manage Lists and start filling out the form. Uh, your list name is something that your readers will see on the subscribe pages or unsubscribe pages, so you want to make it somewhat, uh, you know, recognizable. My first list. That's what I'm going to call this one. My first list. And we'll add some numbers in there. I'm just doing that because, you know, somebody else can have the actual name, my first list. I won't take it. All right, from name, uh, my name's Tim. Email, oop, Tim Linden. Yeah, that's better. Uh, you want to use your real name or your company name or your website name, something that people are going to see the email from in their inbox, and they're going to go, oh, yes, I remember. I want to open this email because if you don't, people aren't going to recognize you and open your emails. You're from email. This should be a valid email address. Uh, the reason you want a valid email address is people might actually reply to you. Uh, this is a good thing. You know, some people are scared of this, but if you're promoting some something and someone's got a question about it and they reply to your email, you want to actually get this email you want to be able to make that sale so make sure you put your real email address in there alright alright next you need to put a valid postal address this is for legal reasons if you want to be sending out emails you need to have a valid mailing address I know it seems a bit silly but legally you need to have some way for someone to send an unsubscribe request via snail mail. I didn't write the laws, but we got to all follow them. So put in your, your actual mailing address there. I will tell you in the 10 years doing this, I've never received a letter at the P.O. Box asking to be unsubscribed. I don't know. I don't get it, but put it in there. P.O. Boxes work fine. Personally, I like P.O. Boxes because if you ever do get one of those letters, you know it's going to be in your P.O. Box. It's not going to be you know, opened up by the kids or thrown out by your husband or wife or whatnot. All right, so above the confirmation, like this is, when you get the a confirmation email saying, hey, you know, you wanted to subscribe to my list, this is what you're going to put in the text. Uh, try to keep it along the lines of whatever opt-in forms you're using or what the list is about. Something so, once again, as people get these emails, they recognize it, they know, all right, this is what I wanted. Uh, so you might even remind them if you're given a bonus for subscribing or if you've got some really juicy stuff on your list, put that information in here because you want them to be like, yes, 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 click the con confirmation link and uh, get started. So here we go. Hey. All right, this is, I, I already messed up there. I'm starting over. Uh, the below is basically the below text, so the actual confirmation link will be in between these two sections. I'm going to keep it real simple. And then click on save. There you have it. Your list has been created. Uh, that only took a few minutes, and it's a lot quicker if you're not you know, listening to me ramble along. I'll have another video on what to do next. So, uh... Yeah, have fun. Create your first list before starting the next video. You got unlimited lists. Don't worry, you can delete any time if you decide, yeah, that was a great test list, but now I want to do one for real. So play around with it, create a list, and then watch the next video.